Borderlands the pre-sequel is coming out soon, and has an all new Culliver cast of playable characters. But who are they, really? My name is Stally111, and welcome to the show. Today we're going to be looking into Athena, and what her background is. Athena first appears in the franchise in the DLC of General Nox's Secret Armory. She used to be a highly skilled assassin of the Lance Corp. Also, she was the leader of the elite Omega Squad of the Crimson Lance, but has since defected. When her and the original Vault Hunter's lives cross, she realises that they can help one another out, and tries to befriend them, but as a masked informant. Sadly, she is kidnapped by a bandit known as Mr. Shank. The Vault Hunters had to go get her out of the cell Mr. Shank had her in, which turned out to be fairly simple. Once they had freed her, she aided them in the process of taking down General Knox. After this, she leaves sight of any story in the franchise up until now, in Borderlands the sequel obviously as a playable character. So you're probably asking yourself, who should I play in my first playthrough of the new title? Well, if you like playing the tank role of the team, like Brick or, say, Salvador, Athena is your choice for this game. Her action skill is Kinetic Aspis, which is a shield that comes up on her left arm when activated. The shield deflects all incoming damage from the front. When the action skill's timer runs down, or is low, it can be tossed at enemies causing catastrophic damage, which is increased depending on the amount of damage being taken during the time that the shield is activated. The shield can also ricochet from enemy to enemy when thrown, but the Wrath of the Goddess skill has to be unlocked, which is the final stage of the Phalanx skill tree, the first of three. The second skill tree, Xyphos, which focuses more on bulk, concentrates on higher damage and higher health. The final skill of that tree is Blood Rush, which is a melee override skill. It involves you running at your opponent and striking them with an increased melee attack. It is a short 10 second cooldown with a 40% damage increase on the normal melee attack. But if the enemy dies during bleeding caused by the attack, or just dies from the attack itself, the cooldown is reset and you can hit them again with it. Her final skill tree is Seronic Storm, which focuses more on speed and elemental stuff. So if you want to shock some people or use Slag, which I presume is coming back from Borderlands 2, fingers crossed, this is the tree to go down. The final skill of this tree is Hades Shackle, which involves you slamming links to nearby enemies with a shock tether for a short duration, electrocuting them causing high damage. The tether will sadly break if the target goes out of sight though. Any enemy still tethered at the end of the duration or died while tethered will release a Fire Nova, and you gain bonus Maelstrom stacks for each enemy affected. This ability sadly does have a slight cooldown though, so don't go crazy with it. That's a good start into the background info of Athena, but if you want me to dive further into her backstory or just some more info about her in the new game, tell me in the comments. Also, if you're wanting me to do some stuff about the others, like Nisha, Claptrap, or Wilhelm, tell me down there too. Thanks for watching, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name is Stally111, and see you in the next one.